the sexy reality behind Sicily's wide Lotus Hotel. With lavish Baroque villas, exotic gardens, dramatic landscapes, ancient art and a seductive vibe, Sicily seems to be the perfect location for season 2 of dark comedy series The White Lotus. The award-winning show charts the tangled, erotic and sometimes dangerous adventures of super-rich vacationers staying at the beautiful clifftop San Domenico Palace, a five-star resort operated by four seasons in the town of Tha Ormina. A former 14th century monastery with unique views of the Etna volcano and coastline, the hotel is as much a star of the show as its cast of Hollywood and Italian A-listers. And, says its real-life manager, Lorenzo Meraviglia, it's a match for its fictional counterpart. The resort's real vibe is very much similar to what you see and feel in the series, he tells CNN Travel. It's vibrant. It's about Sicily, both romantic and sexy and about our incredible guests who this year included Madonna and Sharon Stone. Made for HBO, which, like CNN, is part of Warner Brothers' Discovery, the series is filmed around Tha Ormina, Noto, Chevalu and Palermo, but the San Domenico Palace is at the heart of the intrigue and steamy liaisons that develop over the course of the seven-episode season. And while guests looking for their own White Lotus escape might not get quite the same racy experiences, Mera Viglia insists his hotel will at least deliver the same level of service enjoyed by the show's characters. The success of the series is based on the reality of what occurs in a luxury hotel, the interactions between staff and clients, and among clients, are very real, he says. But the extreme situations like the two local escorts coming and going to entertain guests are part of the drama and theatrics that add a layer of spiciness, he adds, insisting that things generally happen at a more sedate pace, as far as he's aware. We may notice if there are weird movements if a situation becomes obvious, but thought Armina and a resort are places where such things usually don't happen. It's for families and couples on their honeymoon. Even if someone may have a weekend adventure, it is not perceivable by us. Visitors to the San Domenico Palace will find it exactly as portrayed in the White Lotus. Those connecting doors between suites really exist. There are lush gardens for sunset drinks, pretty cloisters, a panoramic pool and a terrace overlooking the bay where guests have breakfast and a Michelin star restaurant where the show's characters often argue. Not that Sicily is any stranger to free zone. The island has an ancient Greek heritage of sexual freedoms, a past reflected in the series, with pagan statues and religious frescoes silently witnessing the wealthy guests' extravagant activities. Tha Ormina is seen in all its glamour, the imposing ancient Greek theater, the panoramic piazzetta, the pastel-colored dwellings, elegant alleys with cafes and glossy boutiques, the chic restaurants like Baronessa where one bickering couple's dinner scene is filmed. The best suites in the hotel, where most of the show's sex scenes take place, have plunge pools and paintings of saints made by the monks who once lived there. The decor, the rooms, it's all original, what you see is real, even the staff uniforms, says Mera Viglia. While Mera Viglia may not have had to field some of the more outlandish guest requests that crop up in White Lotus, he says he's had to deal with extravagant requests since the San Domenico opened last year as part of the Four Seasons chain. Some guests wanted to visit the Aeolian Isles with the private helicopter and rent a yacht to Syracuse which is only an hour's drive away, he says. Physically, there are only two real deviations from reality, the beach scenes and shots depicting the guests arriving by boat. The resort, perched 400 meters atop the Arminas high rocky plateau, has no sea access. The private deck of a nearby fish restaurant. La Cambusa at Giardini Naxos, was used to film sea arrival scenes. And since the hotel has no private shoreline, the nearby Ina Hotel's Capod Ormena Resort is where guests can enjoy sun loungers and umbrellas at a beach club carved into a reddish cliff flanked by rock arches and sea stacks, overlooking the small island of Isolabula. The islet, which also features in White Lotus, 
is connected to the shore by a narrow strip of sand and is one of Sicily's most beautiful and popular snorkeling spots thanks to its emerald green, still waters. It's part of an archaeological park and has a villa surrounded by exotic plants that hosts a botanical museum. Most bathing and underwater scenes were shot at the public beach of the picturesque fisherman village of Cefalu, between Tha Armina and Plermo. Tha Armina's bay witnessed real-life entry back in 1955, when a Polish heiress was allegedly drowned by her husband under mysterious circumstances said to be linked to an inheritance. Spats between couples in the White Lotus are also true to life. In 1967 a furious Elizabeth Taylor apparently smashed a mandolin over Richard Burton's head on the terrace of their suite. Plant Pots and Phalluses There's a lot of Sicilian lore in the White Lotus, alongside references to the island's mafia connections. A ceramic sculpture of a bearded Moore's head is frequently shown in the show as a symbol of betrayal, a nod to a local legend dating back to medieval times. It's said one of Sicily's Arabi concubires had his head chopped off and used as a plant pot by a woman he had an affair with. This story embodies the Sicilian essence of love, passion and vengeance which are all represented into the White Lotus, says Sonia Bonamassa, San Domenico's public relations coordinator. She beheads the Moor because she loves him but he has betrayed her. These Testidi Moro ceramic heads are today used by Sicilians as vases, lamp holders, citrus bowls and flower pots or just to decorate rooms. The Mori are emblematic of Sicily's Arabic heritage. Other local mementos include colorful pinpoint nut-shaped ceramics that are believed by Sicilians to bring good luck. Director Mike White was extremely receptive of these local things. We'd joke about them and he included many of our suggestions in the season, like Italian songs, adapting his approach to reality, says Mayor of Iglia. One tip that did not make the cut, probably because it was too extreme even for such an erotically charged show, was a local watering hole that the actors nicknamed the Penis Bar. Barter Icy, in the picturesque medieval village of Castel Mola near Tha Armina, is filled with objects shaped like phalluses. Bottles, watches, cups, everything, says Mayor of Iglia. Even staircases and floor tiles have penises. Waitress Georgia Boncharo says the, real, hotel staff and crew regularly visited after a tough day of shooting and hopes the series will draw tourists to quieter, lesser known places around Tha Armina like Castel Mola. This bar dates back to 1947, it used to be a brothel and gay hotspot says Poncho. Then the owner decided to adopt the phallus motif, which was an ancient Greek symbol of sexual potency and fertility, to reaffirm the virility of Sicilian men. It also brings good luck. Wild parties and lavish mansions. Some scenes were filmed at a Renaissance palace called Villa Tosca, which is actually located in the town of Manrile, near Palermo. Set within a lush park it has sumptuous frescoes and statues king-sized rooms and an exotic pool pond with fresh spring water. Rented for weddings and private events, it is said German composer Richard Wagner stayed here while creating one of his masterpieces. Another extravagant mansion featured in the White Lotus as the scene of an orgy is Villa Elena, which sits among olive groves near Noto. It's decorated with old tapestries and marble pieces and has a huge pool jutting out of a temple. The White Lotus pays homage to the Godfather Mafia movies, featuring the location of a classic scene, Castello degli Schiavi in Fiumfredo, an elegant castle with a cloister. It's a private property open to guided tours and events bookings. The best of Sicilian food is showcased in the series, too. Guests sculp down ricotta-filled cannoli, cosata cakes, gelato and durancini rice balls. Characters regularly quaff local rose and martini. Two couples spend a wine-tasting day at the planet Akantin on Mount Etna's flanks, where the volcano's fertile black soil produces top bottles such as Erusian, eruption. Since the 1800s Tha Armina has been a VIP international hotspot renowned for its wild parties and sexual freedom that hark back to the pagan Greek days when homosexuality was the norm. Anglo-Irish playwright Oscar Wilde was one frequent visitor. 
It is said thought or mean it might have been the birthplace of D. H. Lawrence's novel Lady Chatterley's Lover. The author and his wife were guests at San Domenico Palace in the early 1920s and the book was apparently inspired by an affair between Mrs. Lawrence and a local donkey rider. Global Spotlight Locals hope the global promotion of thought Armina in White Lotus will further draw tourists to Sicily and boost its appeal as a Hollywood stage. Giacomo Chill of Discover Messina Travel Agency plans to organize guided tours to the series' locations. There's enormous potential and sign turismo, tourism link to movies, we already take Americans to the Godfather's spots with tailored trips, he said. Not everyone is happy. Enzo Anastasi, owner of Hotel La Cana, on the offbeat Villa Cutie Isle and the Aeolian Archipelago, is concerned about dumbing down Sicily to a rich man's Disneyland. He said, these American series promote and portray the usual super rich people and their glamorous spots, which are not the real, authentic soul of Sicily where traditions and simple lifestyles survive. Thought Armina local Giuseppe Quattrochi, owner of Le Bistrot du Mand restaurant, thinks the series will be a godsend for Thought Armina's tourism but says he didn't appreciate how Sicily was at times portrayed. When three guests go searching for their ancestors in a remote village and get kicked out by their alleged relatives, that's the opposite from our inbred hospitality, he says. Also, the escorts and the reference to local criminal organizations depict a negative image.